All right, so just a quick look at what is coming Monday, right? Because the databases are already updated. You've got this pack here, which looks to be an AC Milan selection. They're all the players that you see. There, Musa is going to be interesting. Uh, Chukwesi is going to be there. They have a couple of their new sign-ins as well. I know they got a good beating the other day by Liverpool, but a couple of nice players in there. Nothing that's really going to change the dial too much. But it's all about the legends, right? So you've got the new epic booster, Nesta. You've got Dida. And of course, you do have Costa Corta as well, right? So defensive fullback, Costa Corta. Dida is going to be defensive goalkeeper. And Nesta is going to be a destroyer. Nesta is going to have the booster shutdown plus two. Um, and obviously, with manager here, if we choose, say, Deschamps, and we give him the manager booster, and we auto-allocate him at 31, uh, or just look get, get a rough guide of his skills and his stats here, that's kind of looking like his, um, his stats here. If you look there at his stats... So you're going to pretty much have defensive awareness, tackling aggression, and defensive engagement all maxed out. 86 speed, 80 acceleration. Now that's with 31 levels. I don't know will he have 31 levels. This is just a placeholder at the moment. Um, but even at that, if we wanted to make a couple of adjustments to that there, you have 16 into defending. I mean, you could, uh, you could obviously take one off that and give him an extra booster to these and save yourself like, what, eight points? Um, and then you could throw it into the lower body if you wanted to do that. Like you're going to have 91 speed. Um, or else, if you didn't want to go that route, you could go the aerial strength route if you wanted to go that route there, um, which gives you 89 jump, 89 physical contact. And of course, you could up those then with the booster as well, depending on what booster that you want to give him. You can give him a shutdown uh, plus one on that one as well. Dida is going to be defensive goalkeeper. Again, going to be fairly solid. Um, you know what you're going to be getting with him. I don't think he'll have 31 levels, though. If he does, and we give him even any of these with the manager boost, even without training him up here that much, we're going to have pretty much all his stats, including jump, which seems to be really, really high for this manager here um, with this build. Obviously, we can put more in if you want to, or put less in if you want to. Goalkeeper awareness is super high. Uh, goalkeeper clearing and reflexes needs to be probably a little bit higher, but again, going to be a good one. Uh, player skills going to have all of these low punt long throw nest is going to have heading one touch pass man marking interception blocker um, and costa court is going to be the interesting one because Cart costa court is costa court is going to have fortress right man marking interception blocker sliding tackle there's his skills i don't know how many levels he's going to have but look obviously konami don't show anymore um when the player is on leveled right and when his form is up or whatever um so if we auto allocate Costa Corta at 100 overall, just on level playing field, right, with no form arrow, because at the moment, obviously, with the form arrows, um, it depends, like, when the form is up, if you're only able to see the form when you're actually going into a match, right? And that's that Maldini that we had there. Um, but Costa Corta is obviously going to be a bit of a beast. I always did like Costa Corta, um, and I love using him. Definitely, as a free player, he's probably one of the best in the business uh, to use. But... It just depends, man. If you're going to be using Costa Corta, I do feel as if like you need to be able to play three at the back effectively with him if you're going to be playing him. Because this guy's down as a defensive fullback. Um, where is he here? Is he on my bench? I can't find him, man. I don't know where he is. He should be here. Oh, there he is. So we haven't him leveled at the moment, but he, go he goes to 37 levels with this build here. But he's a defensive fullback. Um, this build here with the defensive fullback, he's going to have everything, but he's also going to have Fortress. So that's going to be key to him there. And then also on top of that as well, man, um, you're going to be able to have him pretty much exactly where you want him to be with speed, acceleration. He probably doesn't even need that much acceleration. Um, physically, he's going to be strong. You know, you don't need any of these. Passing, if you don't want to, dribbling is going to be enough at 80. If you want to go that, passing is going to be at 80. Lofted pass, header 86. You can just pop that up a little bit more if you want to. And have 90 header and then on top of that as well you'll be able to have a couple of more points into that if you want to so yeah i mean it's going to be a solid card i think the fortress is going to be the big one with him but like if you've got a fully up form player that's potentially what he's going to look like man with his stats you know what i mean with the fully form up he's got 103 overall with this build same with nesta so they obviously don't show you this visual upgrade anymore but he's going to be 105 overall with this build and he's going to pretty much have 90 speed, 91 jump, 90 physical contact, 90 stamina, all the 90s for the defensive. And you can give him one more into aggression with his booster if you give him a second booster. So let me know if you're going to spin for them. Honestly, I don't know. We don't have Nessus, so I might. But let me know what you guys think.